Hi. Today's topic is. Sorry. Entrepreneurship and small business management. Entrepreneurs who have successfully launched their venture hit an inflection point after their idea is off the ground once things are going on and moving in the right direction. The management stage of entrepreneurs journey is where all the pieces of the business get balanced and optimized and small business management comes into play. Small business management is the process of optimizing all aspects of running as a sustainable venture, including finance, marketing, product development, customer management, leadership, business planning, networking, decision making, and ongoing growth. In addition, individual skills such as time management and personal productivity are required to successfully manage a small business. In looking at the list above you, might think this is a lot of stuff. Yes, yes it is. Yet these are the things and entrepreneurs must consider to move their venture forward. The things that are needed for entrepreneurial management differ from the tasks associated with entrepreneurial venture creation and initial growth. The project runs consistently and in the manner desired by its founder, continually improves process and productivity with increased automation, improved tools and movement away from a manual ad hoc process. <clears throat> An entity can stay in the managed it stage for extended period of time. Movement out of the manage it stage occurs when a decision is made to scale the venture into a much larger entity when business conditions change or when a decision is made to exit the venture. In professional services and freelancing businesses in particular, it's common to send an invoice to a client for work that has been performed, but that's not the same as actually having the money in hand. Editors note Microsoft Office 365 from GoDaddy can help keep you organized and get paid on time with features like invoices and Outlook customer manager, get paid on time, and keep your client records organized all in one place. Sorry, one place. Get paid on the time. To get the money in hand, you need to set up payment terms, plan for those terms, and most importantly, enforce them with your customers and partners. Eric Weber, who has been a part of multiple agencies, 
and currently is a CEO of an early stage startup. He states in no cartel terms that the minute someone doesn't pay you on time, act once partners or clients start late paying, it creates a trend and mean mindset that's hard to break, be swift to relentless and be paid us. That lag between when the invoice is sent and when the payment is received can sometimes sometimes be 60 to 90 days or more. This drag on cash flow can be painful to a small business. To address this issue in our business, Jamie McNamara, a member of the Codaddy Pro program, has an innovative approach to solve the problem of how to get clients to pay on time. The single biggest game changer for me this, this year was putting all my new clients on a payment plan for new projects based on 30-day increments, not based on milestones. Cami says, I wish I would have done this years ago. She writes, clients have to use PayPal to work with me on a new website design. I've been doing it since January 1st and I have signed six new clients with this method. It has been a game changer for getting paid, keeping projects on time, and most importantly, controlling my cash flow. When I've sent a proposal to a client, they must schedule an in person or over the phone proposal and contract review with me. We go over the proposal contract and estimate together. We determine how much time a project may take and pick a payment plan. So this is enough for today. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon also.